quite some time. Okay. Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new video. I know I want to address one thing. I have been gone for a month, probably more than a month. I hadn't filmed and that's really weird for me. But I'm back today and I'm doing a very highly requested video from you guys over on my Instagram. If you guys don't already follow me on Instagram, you totally, definitely must. Well, should. Yeah, a little Insta here and I'm also gonna leave it down below in the comments, in the description, sorry, so you guys can check it out. Follow me on Insta, Snappy, Twitter, all the fun stuff, all the goods. Today I have this everyday, like, kind of go-to glam look. I guess it's not everyday, because you don't get glam every day. But this is the look that I would do if I was going out, you know, doing a little something fancier in the day. And yeah, I hope you guys like this makeup video. I haven't done a makeup routine in quite some time, so hopefully the style is just up to par with what you guys want. Yeah, if you guys are new to my channel, I would love if you guys subscribe to my channel. I do videos a lot on fashion, things, lifestyle, and faith. I kind of love all those three categories mixed into one, so definitely, I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. Also, I do have a very exciting series that I'm planning here for the channel that's probably gonna release in the fall. It's fashion related, it's gonna be super cool. It's gonna have all kinds of things that revolve around fashion, things that are about affordable fashion, and just a glimpse into like how I discovered love for fashion, so I hope you guys are excited for that, again, coming in the fall. And yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and just show you how to do this. Let's do her up, all right. Foundation, this is a great one. Love it for moisturization, and I think it has SPF in it. Oh no, I'm wrong. This one doesn't have SPF, but that's okay. This one works as a foundation and concealer, so super awesome, even though I do go ahead and use a different concealer. And then this is my drugstore foundation that mattifies super well. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. Back, back from foundationing. So definitely hope this kind of looks good. I haven't done a makeup video in so long, so I don't know how good this is gonna be, but we're just gonna flow with it. I'm gonna hope that it's everything you guys wanted. So this is just a mirror, kinda need that. What I do after I apply foundation all over my face, I will go in with my contour kit from Anastasia. Sorry, someone replied to my story and I was like, what? And I will go in and do the contour. We'll contour it up. And I haven't done concealer because I kind of do my steps reversed, if that makes sense. This is just what I do, so. Okay, shut up, I'm doing a video. It's okay. Contour is a big thing, is it not? I think it's a, oh, should I show you the shades that I use? Okay, in this palette, I obviously that one, you can tell it's being used a lot, and then I mix this one, since I'm a lot tanner for the summer. I still have foundation on my hand, holy crap. I'm in no means a professional. And that's the tea. Okay, so now that we've contoured pretty, Pretty good. I like to go in with my, sorry, my hair is gonna be a bit of a problem. So I go in with my Tarte uh, Shape Tape Concealer. This thing is probably the best thing I've ever invested in. Wait, hold on one second, actually, before we do that. This is something I just started doing. Don't know if I'm a fan of it or what, but um, I'll take a little bit of the contour shades and I'll kind of go by my nose. It's probably a beautiful angle for you guys. It's probably the best you've ever seen. Okay. Because I kind of like to add dimension to my nose because who doesn't love a cute button nose, you know? I don't know anyone who doesn't love a cute button nose, so. Sorry. I'm kind of violent with my makeup. Okay. I think that's pretty good. I don't really know if you can tell a difference, but I feel like there's kind of a difference, so we're gonna just roll with it. Then, I will take out my concealer. Hi, we're getting really up close and personal for this, so. This is probably, I just realized I didn't put chapstick on. Oh, so I will kind of just make like little fun dots. I'm literally using the viewfinder as my camera, so. Perfect, my concealer always makes a mess. Where's the beauty blender? Okay, so we're just gonna blend her up. I'm gonna be looking down because I'm looking at a mirror, so just keep that in mind. Oh, it's 
sorry, you can see the mirror a little bit. Okay, but like, do you see the dimension in my nose? I think I'm pretty proud of it. So that's exactly why I just add some contour, because with the concealer, it just gives that depth, that ring. We're gonna hope that it's being blended out pretty good. I don't have the best mirror right now on me. Guys, let's talk music, shall we? I'm kind of obsessed. I have phases where like, I'm like, all right, just kind of chilling with the same songs over and over. But like, I'm in a season where I'm just discovering so many good tunes. And maybe I'll share my Spotify with you guys. You guys want that. Also, can we just talk about Nikki and Gabby's freaking EP that came out? I'm so proud of them. I know a lot of you guys are Nikki and Gabby fans, so you guys can totally relate. But what is your favorite song on their EP? Mine is probably um, Flowers by Gabby. Anyways, I just went on a little tangent on music. Music is, is a good thing. It's a good thing for the soul. It's a good thing. Overall, just for your day, you know, you're having a bad day, pop in some good tunes, and bam, your day saved. All right, so now, if I want to accentuate the contour that I did earlier, I couldn't talk. Okay, then I will go ahead and use my setting powder. Let me. The setting powder I use is the Airspun Loose Face Powder. Kind of smells like a nice grandma. Ah! If that makes sense. So if you guys don't like strong scents, probably not the setting powder for you. Now this thing makes a lot of mess, so I'm kind of terrified. So I don't really like to go heavy on the powder because of an incident I had. Literally, the thing is when you use a mattifying foundation and then you use like setting powder, um, it's a recipe for disaster sometimes. It can just look like kind of patchy, your makeup, your foundation will start to look patchy and like like a reptile skin and we don't want that. So I kind of just apply really thin amounts of setting powder under my concealer, I mean on top of the concealer that we just did. I'll apply some on the lids so we can not have some creasing when we do eyeshadow. Do some on the chin. I do let it sit on my nose just because like that's my T-zone, gets super oily. And then, oh, and then I will go ahead and apply some on the forehead. Nothing crazy. So now that we're going to let that sit, I like to go ahead and start eyeshadows. My eyeshadow look has been pretty basic, honestly. I don't even use an eyeshadow palette right now. I was using the Tarte Toasted palette, which is a great palette that resembles Modern Renaissance. If you guys are a huge fan of like red tones and pink tones, I definitely would recommend Toasted Tarte palette. But right now, I'm just like, I'm just in the funk. I'm like lazy and like. Hashtag lazy town. And I don't want to pull out a palette for the days in the summer. So I've been using my Too Faced Sun Bunny Natural Bronzer as an eyeshadow palette. Now you're probably thinking, a bronzer? That's pretty lazy. It is. But it has beautiful shades. We got the dark one that I like to use in the crease, and then we have the lightish pink that has slight shimmer that I'll go ahead and use on the overall eyelid. I kind of just do like windshield wiper movements on my eyelid. I definitely recommend if you want to build up intensity on your crease, definitely just go in little and little at a time and do that windshield wiper moment, moment, movement. Wow and just keep doing it until you get the desired look that you want because trust me you're gonna get it Use a moment is she she's thriving this girl my phone just lit up i saw it in the corner of my eye but i definitely like to make sure that i'm like fully satisfied with my crease before i go in with the other shade just because it makes life easier and we always want to make life easier right right okay I'm feeling confident about this makeup video. Guys, I'm so happy. I have a video coming up super soon. It's a Steal Her Cell. I know you guys really missed that series and I'm sorry that I stopped. You know, that's an injustice on my part and I shouldn't have done that to you guys. 
but I'm gonna do a really awesome person and you guys you guys are gonna be pretty shook not gonna lie glam or go home you know that's what you do so we'll go in with our pinky shade and I just make moves so this is the eye look it looks a little bit orangey bronzy and I definitely love that look for the summer I think it's perfect now we're gonna go ahead and elaborate on that with some winged eyeliner for the brows, I will go ahead and brush them upward. Wow, this is super close and personal. Wow, you guys are getting the full effect. House, I use two different products. We use the Anastasia Brow Pomade that everyone freaking loves on YouTube. Every makeup artist, every one that, I said that weird. Everyone that does makeup loves that. And then I use a good old staple, which is from e.l.f. It's a brow kit, nothing drastic. I think it's like literally three bucks. So, oh my gosh, my hand is shaking. Why? Okay, so I will kind of define a little bit of a line so we have a good, a good outline of where we want to do the brow, you know? Oh, crap. We outlined her a little bit too much. Sorry, we had to interrupt. There was a phone call from my uh, dramatic cousin that just, you know, was visiting. She's a character, all right. Okay, so as you can see, I did me some good old brows. I think they came out pretty nicely today, which is kind of a blessing. Thank you, Jesus. Yay! Just take this moment to thank you. Look like a boy, because I'm <laughs> It's okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do um, is apply bronzer. You guys already saw this because I used it for eyeshadow and I'm lazy. Okay, so kind of get a generous amount and I like to warm up the forehead, kind of bring it down. Um, my trick with this is honestly you just make threes on your face. So you kind of just want to do that. I'll go ahead and apply some blush and then we're going to go ahead and move on to the eye look. I'm thinking today I do want to show you guys some fake lashes, so that's going to be kind of fun. We're going to we're going to experiment a little on camera. It's going to be great. All right, so for the blush, I use the Kat Von D um, Shade and Light blush. I don't believe these are actually still in Sephora. They probably are. They just look different. This is like an old packaging. Honestly, it might be an old blush, but you know what? We're not going to think about that negative. Ignore my dogs. They're kind of just seeking attention. For my highlight, I do use the Too Faced product. I love Too Faced, as you can tell. This is in Snow Bunny. It's very, very nice. Let me go ahead and open her up for you. So we have some cute shimmer shades. I think it's very good, very ambient. Um, My family just won't be quiet. Hold on one second. Oh, I'm filming! I think she hurt me. So I kind of just love to pack on highlight on my nose. It's kind of the best part. Wow, that just changed up my look. Sometimes I do my cupid's bow, but not really. It just doesn't vibe with me. And that's okay. I'll put the excess here. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and do the wing eyeliner. The winged um, pen I like to use is by Maybelline. It's a master precise, super good, natural black. You definitely...
finished makeup look. I think it came out pretty good, honestly. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you want to see different makeup looks. I am thinking of doing like a makeup look inspired by um, Ariana Grande's album. Especially um, for God is a Woman. I would love to recreate that. So if you guys want to see that, if you guys like these makeup videos, please comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up so that lets me know. Guys, I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. I'm so glad to be back filming. And I just, you know, I needed a month off, I guess. You know, sometimes you just need that to get re-inspired. But I hope you guys like this video. Have a beautiful rest of your week. Make positive, good choices in life. And remember to always look on the bright side of things because things are not always as bad as you think. Anyways, um, I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.